Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is 10 years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Okay, so it looks like we're back to Allison. Seems like Tyler has a bit of an issue with Tess not talking to him, but uh, let's figure it out. But first, let's meet Michael. Apparently our BFF, and we were really excited for him to meet Tyler, so let's see how this goes. Hey you! Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying co-worker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co-worker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Yeah, we might be roommates. Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh, okay. There's still space for you, Tyler. It, you better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool, most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at you two, bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish, even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Yeah, well, seems like Tyler's getting along with Michael, which is good to know. Although he seemed a bit uh, touchy about the whole roommates thing. Is there a memory somewhere? I heard the spooky sound. Where is it? Am I blind? Ah, there we go. Fun. Get it? Cause it's a dome? <laughs> You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. She's right, it was funny. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Was? Okay, let's have an explorer out before we head in. Tessa still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of bibinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. Okay, so it seems like a pretty religious really community. I hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Male theft. 
Oof, terrifying. Okay, what else do we have around here? Extreme bubblegum. Please, can we have one? No. Literally unplayable. Okay, well, let's head inside, hang out with Michael a bit. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise, after 10 years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. Yeah, the whole murder thing That's makes it a bit... one way to describe it. Complex. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Do you think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. Maybe later. Later. We've got some shopping to do. No way. Okay. The Trout King is still here. The Trout King. Okay, so I just want to point out that it's pretty interesting how... Hey, should we get okay. like 50 cans of peaches just in case the apocalypse hits tonight? Yeah, I don't think peaches are going to help. If the apocalypse hits while we're in that drafty old house, we're screwed. So first of all, I didn't realize Tessa was this guy's wife. So, what do you think it's snack wise? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Chips. Chips. Salt and vinegar is the only thing that sits right if my stomach's acting up. Wasn't planning on making out with anybody tonight. So let's go for it. Okay. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Just browsing these fancy ass candles. The second thing was it's interesting the reactions Tyler gets. So Tyler, Sam water, soda, juice, whatever you I'm never gonna be able to I'm speak anyway. Wish any of it sounded good. Oh yeah, grape, grape soda. soda. Ooh, getting wild. Hey, if we buy ice cream, we can keep it cool in the snow. Ice cream? In 20 degree weather? Ice cream in all weather. He has a fair point. But yeah, interesting the reactions Tyler gets, and so far we've ranged from Sam, who was a bit hmm, prickly, maybe said a couple of the wrong things, to uh, this guy who was... You could tell he was a so bit surprised, but uh, you think we should get the seemed to go along with it. Or the industrial strength planet killer. Mm, let's go industrial strength. Judging by the state of the house, I think we're gonna need top of the line. Planet killer, it is then. Oh yeah. What are you up to? Ah oh, man, Marianne used this inventory, huh? Ah uh, yeah, my mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Yeah. Seems like Tyler's yeah. doing much of the work. I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. He seems to be doing pretty well, honestly. It is, and it doesn't help that everyone around here keeps making it weirder, but he's doing okay, all things considered. Hmm. I feel like there's a story there. Come on, spill. Uh, I don't know. 
He seems like a cool dude, but I think let's keep the psychic twin connection to ourselves and the whole kind of unsettling mom to go thing. Back to the old house after all this time. How are you feeling? Still unsettled, but it'll pass. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Seems like a nice dude, but I don't know how much to say just yet. Hypothesis. Well done, Tom. The King Trout. Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder! <laughs> yep, seems pretty proud of it. What do we still need to get? I haven't found the candles yet. Ah, we do actually need candles. Hey, Tom. When'd you get that new California plate? You remember that nice young couple who came through town last summer? With the funky van. They sent you their license plate? Their van got impounded. Then I pulled some strings to get it out. So by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? I've got friends in high places. Okay, interesting. I didn't realize collecting license plates from actual cars was a thing. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of the fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Just tea lights, fancy ass candles. Holly candle. Let's go with Holly, I think. You only live once. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Yeah, I know. I know how stalls work. Thanks, though. For more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here Damn, you're right. for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Oh. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My God, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Marianne's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. What happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. S something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. You gonna do some freaky twin stuff to other people? What's up, Tyler? Ah, we have a memory somewhere. Hell yeah. You all done yet? 
Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. huh. I'd completely well forgotten said, about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Oh. So it's not actually what happened. It's just what we were sharing, what we remember. And it can jog our memories, but it not it's not necessarily the truth. Huh. Play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Choose which memory you want to remember. I want to Tessa talk was to angry. Now. Or... Please, Marianne was just angry. Talk for a few minutes. Okay. What does this choice mean? You hear like, this? Marianne was looking for a fight. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? No, Tessa was. She went on Please, Jack Thompson let's just on talk for a few minutes. Which is it going to be? Okay. Please. I mean, we just met Tessa like five minutes Please, ago. How am I supposed to? Let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? I mean, based off we know, what we know of Mary Ann, I would guess Tyler's right? Please, Mary Ann, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Oh. Uh, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it. Hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Huh. So how do we know which one was actually real, and what difference does choosing one make? Because we're not rewriting the past, we're just deciding which, I guess, we believe? Mm. And I can't say which one's right, but I, w I would guess, from what we've met of Tessa, she would have led with being a bit nicer. But it's possible Marianne got angry, because remember, in addition to the the book about raising a trans child, there was like a religious pamphlet about it, I believe. So maybe she got that from Tessa and decided that that wasn't the way to go. Or we just decided that now? Who knows? Let's see. First, let's peek around. Don't mind us. Can I help you, Allison? No, nah, just opening no, the. No, thanks. I'm good. I'm no, just you. looking for something that I forgot. Man. Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. 
She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Okay, so this, that would actually tie in with Allison's memory though, where Tessa said draft calling your debts. Collectible. What's this doing here? Yoink. So let's see this. The pious pelican is the princess's generous friend. She has a magical beak that is always full of food and never empties. I see. So the, the pelican's Tessa, Marianne, us. Does that mean the, the Mad Hunter is based on a real person as well? And what about all the other characters? Very interesting. Okay, nothing else here. Let's uh, let's confront Tessa, I guess. Is there something I can do for you? Mm. Yeah, let's go right into it. I don't think. What are you Earlier up to? You said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> For sure. Uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. <laughs> 